Hey guys, and welcome back to a new episode of Dear Esther. I cannot remember which part it is, but this is where we left off. I fell through that and down there. And last time was just like a crazy ride, man. So now we're going to see if we can get out. Because now I kind of want to get move. Okay. That's great. What? So I somehow got here. That's great. There's a tent, guys. Why is there a tent there? Someone was obviously camping here. That's so scary. Oh, man. sat here and watched two jets carve parallel white lines into the sky. They charted their course, and I followed them for 21 minutes until they turned off near Sanford and were lost. If I were a gull, I would abandon my nest and join them. I would starve my brain of oxygen and suffer delusions of transcendence. I would tear the bottom from my boat and sail across the motorways until I reached this island once again. Why is there a light down there? There's lights everywhere, actually. Hmm. That's a little bit weird. Dear Esther, I find each step harder and heavier. I drag Donnelly's corpse on my back across these rocks, and all I hear are his whispers of guilt, his reminders, his burnt letters, his neatly folded clothes. He tells me I was not drunk at all. Oh, wow. just gotta see if it is anything I doubt it no it's just candles it's kind of beautiful isn't it look at the sky oh wow I did not even see that okay more over here or not there's a picture can I zoom in no I cannot do anything I've seen something similar to this guess we just keep going following the lights oh there's some oh what is this a little weird I have to say 
I don't really get how there is or why there is so many lights, but I guess it's to symbolize. There were chemical diagrams on the posters on the walls on the waiting room. It seemed appropriate at the time. Still life abstractions of the processes which had already begun to break down your nerves and your muscles in the next room. I crammed diazepam as I once crammed for chemistry examinations. I am revising my options for a long and happy life. Oh. There's something over there. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic. And I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Great. That's a little bit scary. Maybe, I think. Okay, let's go up. And still we're just walking a sound of torn metal teeth running over the edge of the rocks a moon that casts a signal as I lay pinned beside you the ticking of the cooling engine and the calling from a great height or my mind as a bypass hmm. there's light over there Let's go see. It's just a candle. Okay. And there's one over here too. There's a lot actually. I don't know if I'm missing something. I probably am. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fiber, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge, and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. Okay. A lot of stuff is written on the rocks. Is it called wall rocks? I don't know. Drink! If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. Great. Oh, stuck in a rock. Should we 
I think we should. There are headlights reflected in these retinas. Too long in the tunnels of my island without a bottom. The sea creatures have risen to the surface, but the gulls are not here to carry them back to their nests. I've become fixed, open and staring, an eye turned on itself. I've become an infected leg whose tracking lines form a perfect map of the junctions of the M5. I will take the exit at mid-thigh and plummet to my Esther. That is pretty. I guess maybe yeah. So many stairs. Blind with panic, deaf with the roar of the cage traffic, heart stopped on the road to Damascus. Paul sat at the roadside, hunched up like a gull, like a bloody gull. As useless and as doomed as a syphilitic cartographer, a dying goat herd, an infected leg, a kidney stone, blocking the traffic bound for Sanford and Exeter. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. All his roads and his tunnels and his paths led inevitably to this moment of impact. This is not a recorded natural condition. He should not be sat there with his chemicals and his circuit diagrams. He should not be sat there at all. Okay. I wonder how far we have to go. We will leave twin vapor trails in the air. White lines etched into these rocks. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly? Who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, but they will not forget you. You've always been drawn to you. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Oh my goodness.
so this was a nice little walkthrough. It was not what I expected at all, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, and leave me some comments about something you want to see in the future that I might have to do a gameplay about. Take care, guys, and big panda hawks to you all. Bye.